Hello, welcome to this part of our tutorial. Today we want to look at how to model a water injection well. Uh, so we'll just go into that without wasting time. The modeling a water injection well and a producer well, oil producer, gas producer, water injection, gas injection, all that. The process is almost the same. It's just that you will have to set it up here. So the settings, everything is usually done in the options summary section. So I'll click on that. And then I come here, I have fluid, oil and water, right? So I'm not gonna change that. But I'll come here where you have well, this section. The flow tab is tubing, allow that. But the producer at the well tab is now water injector, right? Okay, so that is that. So once you change this to water injector, what you're actually doing there, your model will now change to water injection well. So I'll go done and then I'll provide my data. Now for the PVT data, the only data required is the water salinity because you're injecting water. So I'll quickly supply that and my salinity is at 8,000. Okay, so I go done and then I supply my equipment data. I'll select, oh sorry for that, select all the select surface and then I did, oh temperature, sorry for that. I was supposed to supply temperature here, that's why, but I'll supply that after this. Okay, so for the division equipment, the division survey, we have at the surface, we have this, and then we have about 8,000, this is a vertical well. Go down for the down. All I have just a tubing and a casing. Okay, the tubing is at um, 7,800. Sorry, and the casing is at 8,000. The inside diameter of the tubing is 3.992, and that of the casing is 8.3. The roughness is actually. 0.0018 for both of them. One, one eight. Okay, and then the geothermal gradient. We have a temperature of seventy at the surface and a temperature of two hundred at a depth of thousand. Okay, well, my overall heat transfer coefficient is 8. Okay, now this is what I said. I The temperature here is at 60. The injected fluid temperature is at 60. So I'll go down. And next thing is to supply the IPR data. So for this, uh, what we're going to use is I'll have to supply my reservoir pressure first. The pressure is at 4000. The temperature is at 200, of course. The water cut is 100%. Of course, this is a water injection. Well, okay, the total GOR is at um, 400. So we're gonna use that skin by an input, and I'll supply my reservoir. Can we blitz as 150? The base and thick thickness as 100 drainage area. Here is um, 314. The dash of factor is 1.6. And um, the well bore radius is um, 0.54. And the next thing I have to supply is my skin. The skin is 2. And I calculate. Okay, that's what we have. Now you're seeing AOF, absolute open flow potential. This doesn't actually apply for water injection wells. What it shows is the value you're having here, it shows the highest rate at which this IPR was calculated. So it's not actually absolute open flow something stuff it's just showing the highest rate i was used to calculate the ipr so having said that i think we're done with that we go done done and that so that is all we have now the last thing which we're going to do is we're going to look at the rate at which the the rate at which water will be injected here in so at what rate can this actually inject water and for that we come here and um and take the top node pressure top node pressure is at 1000 
and let's allow all this to be where the where it is and then I go continue continue and calculate and it's done and I'm told the liquid rate is 10,172.4 stock time barrels per day that means this well can inject about a thousand ten thousand barrels per day okay that's what we have now like I said usually what you do here is after developing this model you integrate it to a software like gap um, uh, the gap will model put the surface there yeah that's where you draw your network the gap handles the network stuff so if you are to design a water injection manifold you'll need a water injection well and you'll have to design this here and integrate it with gap usually the data which gap requires is not actually this gap requires the lift curves so that is what we want to do now we want to generate lift curves for this model and then integrate it with gap or that will not do the integration here because i've not started tutorials on gap so let's just go about developing or generating the lift curves i have a tutorial on that already but that was for i think gas wells so i'll also show how to do that for oil wells the procedure is the same just that the number of variables will now differ so let's go to system i'm using inflow sorry not inflow vlp tubing curves okay so three variables now what variables affect your lift curves for water injection wells we have just two of that and that is your liquid rate and the well head flowing pressure now the top node pressure is at 1000 uh, I'll do something here the rate meter here I'll use it to um, let's change the rate meter to just as selected uh, the rate type is this the first node these ones are correct and then I don't want to enter these values myself so I'll generate it first value should be the smallest value you can think of okay but for this scenario let's look at 500 stb per day and the highest value like 50 1 to 3000 for that year okay liquid rates okay so i am using linear spacing and number values i have 20 of this so let's just use 20 and if i click on generate it does that for me now i think that I told you it's the liquid rate and the well head flowing pressure. I've supplied the liquid rate here. So I'll go continue. And then from here, I'll supply first node pressure. Let's also do the generating here. I'll generate this the first value, should be 500. And the last value is about 5000. Uh, the number of values should be 10 linear spacing generates. I go continue and I calculate. So it's done with the calculation you can plot this and this is what you have but to generate lift curves all you need to do is click on this button and then click on the software you want to generate it for I want to generate for gap petrol mix pad gap so I choose petrol mix pad gap embal and then I click on continue okay it's generating so it's asking me to save it somewhere so I'll go to desktop and I say oh water injection lift cuffs okay so it's actually a .cpd file so I save that and that's all and this is the way it looks like so if I model my if I draw my networking gap can easily export this lift curves and then continue whatever I do. There is another way of doing this. You can actually generate the lift curves in CAP itself instead of having to generate it here anyway. But that will be shown when I start the CAP tutorial. But for now, I think that is that this suffices. Thank you very much. Sorry, I was not supposed to do that. Thank you very much for watching the tutorial. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you have not. Stay tuned. Bye.